Good afternoon, my subscribers and viewers and friends around the world. Around the world. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, a question was asked by one of our subscribers. What was it? Um, well, how, it, how, how do you find... How can you it, find... Uh, how can you find a good Filipina wife when there's so many... Filipino scammers here. Wow. <laughs> How? Well, I'm going to give my view. This is my opinion. But there are certain... First of all, I'll give you certain signs what to watch out for. Uh, you can go to these... A lot of people go to these websites, uh, Filipino Cupid and some other website looking for a Filipino. You might find one there. There you can and you might not find one there, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I never liked websites, and I never went on a web website before at all myself. And like I told you in my previous video, I wasn't looking for no Filipino. When I went there, I went there to give a class with some police cadets with my friend Chester. He's a Filipino. And uh, but I, I knew Kay. I let Kay know I was coming. But anyway... Uh, there's a lot of uh, expats, foreigner guys, that go to Filipino for different reasons. Some of them go there just to uh, get a young girl, because they know young uh, Filipinos, there's no age limit, as long as you're an, an adult. And they go there for different things, for pussy, excuse my language, or just to uh, have a good time, or anything like that. That happens a lot. And yes, there are scammers out there, but let me get this straight. All Filipinas, the majority of Filipinas are not scammers. They are not scammers. They have their few that are do that. And for some reason, they think Americans got, are rich. That they got a lot of money that they're rich. Now, I know the, uh, the, the uh, money that we make here is much more than they make in Philippines. Mm -hmm. If they're comparing that way, and if we go to Philippines with our money, we do more for our dollar in Philippines here. So you got the so you got the scammers out there want to get a, a try to scam you out of money and stuff like that because they think you're rich. And one way they do it is through social media. Social media, they meet a Filipina guy, uh, be it Facebook or whatever, Twitter or something like that, start talking. Now what you got to watch out for, in my opinion is that if they start talking about they need this, they need, they, they need my baby needs medical attention or their mama needs this and their brothers need that, right out the, from Jump Street, that should be a red a, a red flag right there. Yeah, or That's if, not the way to find a Filipino. Or if you say, we don't you know, have Wi-Fi. You know what, oh, that, oh they don't have Wi-Fi, could you help them get Wi-Fi or could you help them do this, help them do that. Once you, they find out that you have money, they ain't gonna never let you go. They are got some guys here that fall for anything. I don't know, you know, you tell them, uh, I need this, I need this. Okay, baby, sure, I'll give it to you. They got him a sucker. Just like that, I'm telling you. So you gotta watch out for that. I know social media lines and all that stuff. Watch out for the language that they talk what they're saying to you you know if it doesn't sound right then it's not right if no Filipina that you're looking for gonna come from Jump Street and ask you for this ask you for that ask you for this and my opinion the best thing you should do is uh, take a trip to Philippines meet there's so many single women there so many meet you one talk to them don't jump at the first one that uh, comes your way you know, just get talk. To, get to know them first. Get to know them first, exactly. One week is not enough. No, of course not. Meet the family and see how the family is, you know. If you meet the family and the family and the mothers and all them get to talking about, hey, well, we need this, we need this, we need this. Red flag. Split. You know. Say bye-bye. Yeah, say bye-bye. That's not, that's not for you. If you're really serious about finding a Filipina wife really serious i would suggest that you go there and and meet him 
meet him. Now, some people met him online. They have long distance relationships. And want to get married right away. Want to get married mm. right away mm. and stuff like that, you know, without even knowing the family or anything, you know. I wouldn't advise that. Me either. At all, you know. But to, to get a good Filipina, best to go there. Yeah. And meet him. Now, I'll tell you where I wouldn't look. I wouldn't go looking in bars, mm. pool halls where they're drinking and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, yeah, they got them there. But those type of women, I, I don't know, they've probably been through the ringer anyway. And you don't want to meet them. I, I wouldn't, me personally. But they got some expat to just go there just to meet a woman, to take them home and do the little thing and all that. Well, that's what they want to do, fine. But if you're really serious about meeting a Filipina, because you can go there and meet them all day long, but a Filipina that you want possibly to be your woman, then you go there and just meet one, maybe take her out to dinner, exchange numbers, talk, you know, get to know each other real well, you know. And just you know, and, and, and don't set them up like you got a relationship going because they'll take you for that. Just like your friends, just like your friends. Can I see you again or something? Can we meet again, mm -hmm. talk again? And you know, that's, that's the best way to do it. I think, in my opinion. Now, me and Kay, ours is different because I wasn't looking for no man. She was, I wasn't looking for no woman. She wasn't looking for no man. It just happened. It just happened. We started talking, 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 talking. It's like I'm telling you the same thing I did with her. And uh, I liked the way she was talking. She right. liked the way I was talking. We weren't hitting on each other, trying to get anything out of each other, anything like that. Just good for me. Before we got married, he went to Philippines and visited me so many times. Yeah. And then we got did, got them. That, yeah, every time we go to the Philippines, of course, we did together yeah. in our apartment. And we're getting to know each other and what our attitude like. Yeah. If it's just me and him in the house, how do we act to each other? Mm -hmm. So by doing that, we getting to know each other, like how do we really act if it's just you and me? Yeah, well, we, we got along pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it, we, I, I, I've always been kind to her. She's always been kind to me. We always said good words to each other. Yeah, you and know? and it, since the day one that we met, the day one that we met, the first day that we live each other in the same house, and the day that we got married, we, and until now, we never had any big arguments. No. Like, really big arguments. Never. Never. Disagreements, mm -mm. but not no big arguments. You know, so back to the you know, the the scriber that asked me this question: How do we find a good Filipina? Like I said, my opinion: Go to the Philippines and and meet meet you a nice woman. You go because you gonna meet somebody there. There's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you go to the right places. I wouldn't advise bars or nightclubs or anything like that to meet your woman. If you find one there, you're lucky. Uh, my opinion, most women in the Philippines uh, that live in province areas are, they're homely, they stay home all the time with their parents. I know. The, I'm just taking it uh, from what I, people tell me. Not all Filipinas. Well, I'm, I'm not saying all Filipinas, babe. I'm just trying to give them the best advice I can give, you know. Because I've never been in that type of situation before. But I've talked to people that have, and i talked to, uh, 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 I've seen other Filipinas. Look at your sisters. They're all good girls. They're friends. They're all good Filipinas, you know. A lot of, most of them are all single. Most of them are all single, you know. And they're looking for a, a good guy, you know. A lot of Filipinas, a lot of uh, uh, Filipino women, they, they they prefer a foreigner. They say a foreigner would treat them better than their own kind. That's what I'm hearing, you know. And uh, a lot of them had boyfriends before. Cut him loose. He, he got caught cheating on me. I never thought I was gonna have um, a foreigner husband. Well, I, you know, we both had the same thoughts because I never it wasn't my intentions to. But when God says something, it's gonna, <laughs> that's where I look at it. It happened. But for you guys, just be careful when you go there. Like I said, 
all, and I will re reiterate, the majority of Filipino women are not scammers. Mm -hmm. They're not. They have, oh, a, they, are, they have their few there. You find them in bus stations, you find them in bus stops, you find them in, on the streets, you find them in nightclubs, you know. Listen to the language and you talk. If all, you're really serious. All you're going to do now, is... If you're just going there to get a woman and just have a good time. You all you're going to do is watch how they act to you. Yeah. Watch how they speak to you or watch out if they always want or they always ask you or always saying I want this can you get this for me yeah if she starts saying that always want and, money for and something. if you give it to her one time she's always gonna ask you yeah can you give me this can you give me that no, but, but if she never asks you or you're the one who's doing it for her I think that's a good sign, right? If you if you want to volunteer to help, yeah. But if the lead, you know? if the woman doesn't really ask you for things, no, yeah, like you, you never ask me for nothing, not a thing, you know. And uh, yeah, that and that's the way it is. But I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you a little story real quick. I I I uh, like I ain't, I ain't, I ain't all that cell phone so I mean, I just learned learned about cell phones about five, six years ago. And uh, and I also t I told you the guy the story about my first wife passed away, sitting in my ho home lonely and all that. My, my other, I got kids, they asked, they told me, Daddy, why don't you get on social media, da -da -da, meet some people, meet friends. So they showed me, I took the phone up and get on social media, I got me a Facebook account and all that stuff. So I started meeting friends, you know. Just talk, 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 talk. And I uh, told you a story about how a lot of them did, showing naked nick pictures and all that kind of thing, you know. But anyway, when I met Kay, all that stuff ended. Ended. And somehow, I, uh, and I changed uh, my... Uh, you, you never he, changed your, your... He never changed his Facebook But they were account. blocked. They were blocked. They were blocked. And somehow I they tracked them. me down. <laughs> I had someone track me down the other day and asked me... For money, she was sick, and she said, uh, "I need help. I need this. I need that." And I ain't talked to this guy. I don't know how long. And I'm thinking to myself, "Man, don't she have anybody in Philippines that might can help her, or can she go to the hospital? Why, why track me down? I ain't, she has she been blocked?" Yeah, and then I, I was here, and then the lady asked her if if you can help me by this, support me for my medicine, and then he didn't. He told the lady that. He, she needs to ask me. Yeah, I told her, ask my wife. But she don't want to do it. I do it on her. And she she, don't want then, she, then her reply was, oh, well, she ain't going to help me. Just like that. Yeah. Now, if you really need help, you'd ask, right? And then after that, they're not talking. And then when I opened it, he was blocked by her. So, you know, okay. it's weird things happen. They, they attack you when you got a woman living in America, you know. I ain't thinking about no other Filipina, but... Back to but back to the the, the question that the uh, that the uh, subscriber asked. Just be careful when you go to the Philippines and how you pick out your woman. Like I said, clubs, nightclubs, bars, all that stuff, nightlife. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. But uh, if you just meet a nice girl in a restaurant or somewhere, just meet her, you know, or maybe meet her on the street, just talking to her. They're very shy people. Filipinos are very shy people. Am I shy? Yeah, you were. And uh, and you still are shy in a sense. I was but, shy to him before, but right now I'm not shy at you. Yeah. We're married now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I just just want to reiterate that all Filipinas are not, the majority of them are not scheming. They're beautiful women, and they're plentiful in the Philippines. I know you will find one if you go there, but just be careful. And choose wisely. Don't jump in the first Philippine and talk about she loves you and all that kind of stuff and want to get her house and all that stuff. And then, you no, know, don't don't fall for that. Just take your time, meet them. And if so, you get a chance to meet their parents, see where they're coming from, you know, and just take out the movie or the dinner and talk, 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 talk about different things. What you expect out of a woman, what she, and, and, and she probably let you know what she expects out of a man. If it gets that deep, you know, but uh, yeah, if you're really serious about it, well, like I said, there are foreigners who go there for just for sex or just just to play around with these young girls. 
Nah, that ain't cool at all. But if you're really serious and want a woman there, you will find you can find in the Philippines. Just take your time, and uh, it'll happen naturally. Naturally. I hope I answered your question, bro. Best way I can. And if I didn't answer completely, comment me below and let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. I want to hear from you. You know, maybe you have a different outlook on what I'm saying. And I, and I listen. I listen. I listen to all of you guys. And I take advice from you too as well. So please subscribe below and let me know what your thoughts are. That's the best thing I can tell you, bro. In this short of little time we got. You got anything you want to say, babe? Huh? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next uh, Keith and K Filipina. Please subscribe, like, and share. And please, most of all, comment below. That's how we get to know each other. We it's come, little hard. We get, when, we get, when we get to know each other, we, by commenting and, and communicating. <laughs> by commenting and communicating with each other. You know, we're friends. We're subscribers. Let's work together at this. All right, you guys, have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.